So the camera we're talking about today is this awesome Canon camcorder from literally two or three years ago. It's a really nice camera, has 57 advanced zoom, which is really good. Now the ultimate question is, is this camera, this type of camera, is it the type of camera you want in this this age? Is it the type of camera that you want to get? I'll tell you what, this camera, you know, I must admit, camcorders are starting to be phased out when you think of how good videos and photos are taken on our phones today. But sometimes, welcome to TVR Creators. We do weekly videos on the best cameras for creators, YouTubers, and hobbyists alike. If that sounds interesting to you, don't forget to like and subscribe. You know, these cameras still have a small market, they're still clinging on, and I just wanted to look back on why these cameras are still fairly good. Now, I would say these cameras do give really nice HD video. I believe it does, you can get ones that record in 4K as well. Um, this particular camera records mainly in HD. And it does perform some really nice video. I have used one of these uh, for a film I made a few years ago. And it does give a really nice crisp video, which is really nice to see. And it does have a nice internal microphone, which records quite a nice audio. But I would recommend if you're doing something a bit more professional, you might want a different camera or use um, a separate microphone to record your sound for in post. But if you're recording close to the camera about a metre or so away or indoors, it does record really nice audio, which is nice. But just bear in mind, there's no mic jack or anything like that. The battery life does last quite a while, especially if you turn it off when you're using it or you know, when you're not filming, uh, but you can get bigger batteries to connect to the back of it, which is really handy, there it is on the back there. Um, and it's really easy to use, it flips open. What's really nice about it is camcorders that I'm sure many of you know, especially if you're my age or older, or maybe a bit younger. And obviously you can turn the screen so you can see what you're recording, so you, you can use it for blogging and stuff like that. Obviously the wide angle um, lens isn't quite as wide as maybe a phone or you know a camera. Um, but it does give really nice advantages, very easy to use, nice touch screen. And what's really cool about this, it does have a nice little shutter. So there you go, you can see there. <laughs> so that's really nice to see and it just makes it really easy to protect the lens when you're not using it. And obviously it usually comes with a, a strap and a battery and all that sort of jazz. And obviously you can buy a nice bag for it if you so will. Little power tip I would definitely recommend is just flipping it shut, turning it off when you're not recording, just save the battery, that sort of thing. But it's just really nice, just very light and EG and agile and holding your hand very nicely. I do have a few of these sort of camcorders, so if you're interested, I will do uh, more on these. I do actually have a couple of mini DV tape cameras from back in the day. So if you're interested then, put that in the comments below. And question of the day actually, um, what camera, uh, what camcorder have you used or did your family have back in the day? It'd just be really cool to hear if you had a Hi8 camera or one of those big massive tapes from the 80s or something like that. It'd just be really interesting to uh, hear your stories there. Um, but, you know, ultimately, is this camera still worth getting now? I would say, you know what, why not? If you want something that doesn't cost very much, something separate from your phone, you want something for maybe family holidays or something that's light and agile, these cameras still have a place in that market for you. So I will find a link to this or something similar in the links below, so go and check them out. Um, if you're getting value so far on this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and why not buy us a coffee to support what we do here on the channel and just before you go i just want to share one more little cool thing about this camera it does have a very nice easy record button there which is really handy so when you when you're pressing it you just go beep and off you go making this camera really easy to use i just thought i'd share that random little thing for you so i hope you got value from today's video i'm gonna leave you two end cards and i'm gonna bring you even more value and i'll see you in the next video